Hey you guys, what's up? It's the Anime Blaze coming to you with another video. That is right. So, occasionally, I don't know how often I'm going to do this. Maybe I'll just do it once in a blue moon just because uh, I don't like reviewing all the time. I mean, come on, you have to turn your mind off to enjoy stuff. And you can do that so with just about any show, even shows you want to review. But it's that extra effort that you have to put forth in order to be able to do those reviews those of you guys who do reviews you guys know what i'm talking about you know so on and so forth but occasionally i do like to do these or i've thought about doing these um occasionally when i'm not reviewing anime there are like random anime and manga that i talk about or i read and watch and everything like that and i want to get uh i guess get the series the recognition it needs or something along those lines and it's just stuff I like to enjoy I mean I figure hey if I enjoy it, why shouldn't anyone else be able to enjoy it but anyways you know let's get on with the anime and manga that I have been reading so uh, first manga that I've been reading it's, it's freaking hilarious you can ask the anime hero he knows what I'm gonna say collapse the collapse of the world as we know it and man oh man is this series it's funny in a weird twisted ironic kind of way don't ask me what it's about because each chapter doesn't each chapter has its own storyline and each one of them is weird not one chapter have i read in this manga that has actually been at least somewhat normal. No, each one is weird. We talked. Me and Hero talked about it in our live stream that we did um, a while back. But it, it's a pretty, it's a pretty entertaining manga. Weird, but entertaining. So if you're into like you know, uh, let me think, let me see, horror, psychological, sanin, or tragedy, this is the kind of manga that you're gonna want to check out because it's random. And you never know what you're going to read. It's a new chapter. It's a different story every chapter. You can't I mean, you can't beat that, right? I mean, it's better than most stuff that's coming out now. I mean, maybe. And maybe you're just getting tired of reading the same old thing every single time. Uh, might want to check it out. It's one of my favorites. But, uh, but anyway. Other manga that I've been reading. It's, it's horror. Believe me, it's horror. It's called uh, Crime Zone, and uh, I'm just going to read you sort of a brief description, uh, the important parts of it. So I'm just going to tell you, basically based off of what they say and what I'm going to say. Okay, so for, what, for one thing that you guys need to know is that this series is, it involves vampires. But don't worry, it's none of the crappy vampires that you guys have known from Twilight, if you guys consider that series to be crappy, uh, which most of you probably do. But this series is like bare bones, blood, gore, you know, fan service. Yeah, I know. Most of you, but when I say blood, gore, fan service, you guys are probably thinking, oh gosh, here's another High School of the Dead. Maybe, but to me, this series is freaking 10 times more hardcore than High School of the Dead. I take this. I take this series more seriously than I take High School of the Dead, and that's sad because they both involve the same kind of thing. Well, genres anyway. You know, etchy, which is like a fan servicey kind of thing, and horror. But this one's ten times more hardcore. You got people freaking getting their, you know, hearts ripped out. Uh, you know, weird looking creatures on the arm just taking the bite out of like other things. It, it, it this series is hardcore more hardcore than high school of the dead but i know i've said that let me explain what it's about uh, uh how would i say this it's a society you know as far as we know uh due to legends and everything vampires are just legends myths creatures that can only come out during the night however in this series there's a new breed of vampires called the hesperides which can come out during the day and night which you got to be 10 times more careful because these guys are more creepy than any kind of vampires you'll ever see and now that i think about it 
these guys are more like zombie kind of vampires than they are straight up vampires. I'm not joking. But yeah, the, the story revolves around this guy. Uh, I'm not going to even try to say his name. I mean, it's easy to say, but I don't feel like saying it. But it revolves around this high school student who, to him, everything up to the start of the storyline has been perfectly normal and fine. You know, nothing out of the ordinary. But as soon as his friends start decide to go out at night like idiots and they uh, they ask him you know hey you want to come he says sure like an idiot and goes out you know during the night they get attacked St a lot of stuff happens and everything that he wants new to be true is nothing is nothing is not even true at all it's, it's nothing at all nothing like it's used to be um, he finds out, you know, he lives, at the beginning of the story, he lives with his parents and everything. And, well, no, he lives by himself. My bad. And uh, when this all this stuff goes down, he finds out what happened to his, all the people he once knew as his friends. What happened to his parents. And especially one friend in particular who he considered to be maybe his best friend. And what continues to happen with that best friend again and again and again. That's what keeps the story going for me. Just wondering, that one point makes me kind of wonder what's going to happen. But man, Crime Zone, if you guys didn't like High School of the Dead, I recommend you at least give this series a try. Uh, it's ten times more hardcore than High School of the Dead. You, can, you might be able to take this series more seriously than High School of the Dead. I guarantee it. Hopefully. Just trust me, read it. But anyways, on to the anime that I have been watching. So occasionally I take anime the same way that I read manga. Uh, I read whatever, whenever. Uh, but with anime, I watch whatever, whenever. So a couple of months back, this goes way further back than even now. But... A couple of months back, I was thinking, uh, I, I watched this one show called uh, The Tatami Galaxy. And oh my goodness, this show is so freaking hilarious. It kind of makes me think, like, man, I wonder if this is what my college years are going to be like. Because I'm not, if you guys don't know, I'm not in college yet. I got like another year or something to wait. But it really makes me think, man, is this what my college years are going to be like? It, it revolves around this guy, the nameless main character. Again, he has no name. Uh... Watashi or just I he has no name who knows why but uh he you know the story starts off with him meeting you know he's at this roadside ramen stand or something like that and he meets like this huge big old this guy with like a big old chin he's just like eating ramen like out of nowhere just <laughs> sucking up everything and he tells them you know they're both from the same apartment complex and everything he tells them you know Hey, I, you know, I, hey, what's up? You know, I'm, I'm the god of matchmaking, you know. Uh, I, I see you've been looking for this girl. You know, the main character is like, I don't know what you're talking about. But he says he knows everything that he's ever been through situation-wise. And everything is like the day he was born, all that stuff. And he tells him, he's like, you know, I, I know you like this girl. And, you know, if you want, I could help you out. And the guy says, I don't know what you're talking about. This is ridiculous. And he tells him, he's, yeah, don't play dumb. You know, it's I could help you. It's either between you and your creepy-looking, demon-looking friend over there. It's between you two. And everything just gets, like, seriously, seriously funny. I'm not even going to lie. Stuff gets real, real funny real quick. Um, each episode is a different storyline involving the main character and his... Uh, how What's the word I'm looking for? Hopeless <laughs> quest of finding... Uh, this girl that he's in love with or trying to find a girl that he might be interested in while going through college and all these different clubs trying to fit in and a lot of different stuff a lot of random stuff with his best friend just happens and I'm wondering the whole time I'm watching this I was like is this what my college is going to be like random pranks random stuff going on left and right I have no clue I just I'm anxious to see how this series ends so I'm going to watch it all the way through to the end maybe give a first like an ending impressions or a discussion i'm probably not even going to even review it just do a discussions because it's it's seriously funny guys 
uh, you gotta check it out. But um, anyways, th the next series I'm gonna be talking about is called C. Ah, I keep forgetting the name of it because it's a long, long title. Um, it's called C. Control: The Money and Soul of Possibility. Um, and this show, to me, another show that makes me think of wondering what my college life is gonna be like. Um, main character works real hard, barely making a living. You know, like uh, you guys know what college is like. For those of you who are in, it, you know, working hard to earn money, and then still like still looking at it like man i still only got that much money to do whatever with but you you make do with what you got and eventually comes he comes across something it's like a, i guess you could say a, an atm card that allows him to make money through these battles called open deals which you can uh spend money to make uh make attacks but earn a whole bunch of money back if it's like a critical hit that kind of thing and you know assets liabilities investing stocks all that kind of stuff is in this show and it puts it into kind of a mindset you know working hard maybe isn't the only thing that you could do to earn money or more along the lines of money isn't just a material kind of thing it's much more than just money it's much more than just a currency and that's what makes me uh like this show uh takes the value of money even further than what we think of it as and it kind of makes me think of like man is this what my college is going to be like working hard and still make, barely making money you know saving every single penny i have and still having a hard time i don't know maybe but uh anyways guys this is what i've been doing you know past couple of days i don't even know but i'm just i've just been having a good time uh you know, watching all this stuff and reading it uh, to pass the time. But, uh, yeah, what have you guys been doing in the past couple of days, uh, anime, manga-wise? And do you read anything besides, the, like, you know, I don't know, the main stuff that's being read right now, like Naruto, Bleach, I don't know, Toriko, whatever, you know, all the main shonen stuff. Uh, if you guys have any recommendations or something to me, let me know. Uh, leave it in the comment section below. I'll probably talk about it in my next one which whenever that'll be because i have a long a crap load list right here on my uh web page or my browser that i've just been just just been sitting there and i'm waiting for something else to be added to it again guys uh this is what i've been doing chill out relax and uh have a nice day oh and never doubt your capabilities because you never know what you might be able to do Trust me, it always works every time. You never know. But anyways, catch you later. And whatever it may be happening that I decide to do.